Hi everyone, my name is Scott and I am a runner. Welcome to the Run Scotty Run a YouTube channel. Uh, so for my, uh, my loyal followers, I know it's been uh, quite a while since my last video, so I wanted to give you a bit of a life update and uh, touch briefly on um, my goals for 2022, um, as well as uh, a challenge that I just have just started about six days ago, which uh, I'll talk a little bit more uh, later in the video. Uh, so anyway, uh, for those of you who uh, celebrated, I hope that you had uh, a lovely Christmas and uh, 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 happy New Year celebrations. Um, I know we're almost into February now. Um, but uh, anyway, it's been a busy couple months. So starting off uh, in, uh, in, on the 9th of December, my stepson and his wife um, blessed us with uh, a baby boy, a grandson. So uh, I'm now uh, a grandfather twice to uh, my granddaughter, Estelle, who's almost three, actually going on 33. <laughs> but uh, anyway, so now uh, I have a boy and a girl. So, um, you know, we were very busy, obviously, uh, with his arrival and helping out with uh, some uh, Nana and Papa babysitting duties, uh, daycare, um, while um, the kids adjusted to having a, a second baby. Uh, December here was uh, just absolutely surreal weather-wise. I, I don't know, uh, uh, Mother Nature has not been happy with, I guess she's probably not been happy with the whole world, but on the west coast of Canada here, we've, uh, uh, the month of December, we had just unseasonably um, snowy. We had, uh, I think, three major storms and a total accumulation of probably uh, about a hundred centimeters uh, over three feet of snow. Uh, so I did a lot of cross training, uh, shoveling. I uh, couldn't run outside. Uh, I actually wasn't able to run outside for about 28 days. Uh, not so much because I, you know, I'm scared of the cold, but uh, uh, at my age, especially, uh, you know, if it's snowy and icy, I, I just, uh, I'm, I just don't want to risk falling and breaking a hip or something like that. Um, but on the good side, uh, we, Santa Claus, uh, we decided to invest in a treadmill, uh, which uh, it's a true M50, which I'll, uh, I'll put a link down below if you're interested. It's, it's a really a good uh, treadmill. It doesn't have uh, tons of bells and whistles like a lot of them do, but it's very high quality and very heavy duty. Uh, so eventually on this channel, I'll, I'll do a little bit more of a review on that. So uh, anyway, I was able to, once that arrived, um, you know, I was able to get some running done. Um, but, you know, for me, um, it's, uh, it's going to be a great tool going forward. But, <clears throat> you know, I did, <clears throat> pardon me, I did certainly miss uh, running outside. It meant for me, for my uh, mental health primarily, uh, there's just nothing... Uh, that boosts my mental health probably more than, than a good run outside, but it's, it's a really good treadmill and I know that I'll be using it, um, you know, as a, as a training tool when the weather's bad and also, uh, for some other specific things, um, as we, we go along. Um, so, uh, let me see. Uh, yeah, I guess so. I, yeah, I was kind of busy and then with the weather and Christmas and new years and, uh, you know, I, I just, uh, I apologize, I wasn't really, uh, I guess, kind of in the mood for uh, making a video, but uh, uh, hopefully I'm back and uh, and here to stay for a while. Uh, the break was actually uh, kind of nice there. I think I sort of, I was so excited when I started my channel, I, I pumped out a whole bunch of videos, uh, some, you know, sometimes two a day, and uh, maybe ran out of a little bit momentum. But uh, anyway, I'm excited to, to uh, get going again. So uh, my goals for 2022, <clears throat> well, I kept them, uh, my overall goals, uh, excuse me, I'm just going to have a little sip of coffee here. Oh, a little rocket fuel there. <clears throat> Yummy. Um, I, I kept them fairly simple. In past years, I've, I've, I've had probably, uh, you know, I don't know, four or five, half a dozen goals at a time. And it seems to be, um, I don't know, I, I just, I don't seem to you know, I might accomplish half of them or, you know, 75% uh, of them, but so I kept it fairly simple this year. So the, my number one goal over the span of the year is to run uh, uh, 2,022 miles. 
um, and uh, which I think was is 3,255 kilometers. So I actually in in Strava I set it as a goal in Strava. Uh, I rounded it up to 3,300. Uh, so anyway, so that's uh, you know that's that's a a, a pretty good uh, goal, pretty good task, uh, a pretty good challenge. Um, so. Uh, I'm a little bit behind that right now, uh, but that's okay. Um, you know, the, the weather, uh, now that all the snow, uh, touch, touch wood, the snow is gone for a while. Uh, you know, I've been able to get uh, really back into the groove running wise. And uh, the uh, challenge that I'm in right now is uh, run focused. Uh, so, you know, I, over the next uh, few months, I should, you know, uh, get, on track with that and and probably get ahead of of my goals uh, my other goals this year uh, originally I was gonna well, I wanted to set a, a bit of a time goal to run uh, a half marathon and uh, I don't I don't know I guess when I when I set the goal it was you know it seemed exciting to me um, I wanted to break uh, 2.30 for the half marathon and I think actually at this point in time that might be a little bit too much to bite off so uh, we'll see how things go um, with my training uh, for my uh, my actual goals and uh, you know maybe that'll be come sometime later in the year as, as a bonus. Um, so I want to run uh, two marathons this year one in the spring one in the fall. Uh, the spring one will be a solo uh, marathon which will be the culmination of this current uh, challenge that I'm, uh, t that I'm, uh, uh, I was inspired to do it by somebody else, but I've, I've sort of made it, made it my own. Uh, it's, a, it's a hundred day challenge and I'll, I will do a separate video series uh, on that. Uh, so that will be a solo marathon on the, on the, the final day, the hundredth day of this hundred day challenge. And then I also want to run a fall marathon um, it's still up in the air uh, whether that will be another solo one or uh, perhaps the Royal Victoria Marathon in Victoria, BC, uh, just a few hours uh, from where I live. Um, we'll see how that goes. Either way, I will, it will be run after my birthday, so uh, I'll be 61 uh, when I run that um, marathon in the fall. So. Yeah, so that's those are kind of my goals uh, for the year. Uh, this current challenge that I'm in is a, it's a hundred day challenge. Today is the uh, sixth day, so I've completed those uh, objectives. Um, but uh, like I said, I will do uh, a completely separate uh, video series of that. You know, sort of uh, introducing it. Um, although I'm a little bit late, I guess, <laughs> because I'm already into it. But uh, you know, giving uh, regular updates. Uh, so there we go, folks. I, I hope that, uh, you know, everything is go going well uh, so far for you and yours in uh, 2022. I know it's, uh, it's with, uh, with what's going on uh, with, with the pandemic still. Uh, it's a bit crazy. Uh, I was lucky enough, uh, uh, you know, I'm lucky enough to still have uh, very good health. So I, I'm uh, happy with that. So uh, remember that uh, no matter how big you are, how old you are, how far you run or how fast you run, if you run, you are a runner. So uh, if you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like. Uh, if you're interested in my uh, 100 day challenge series, which I'm going to talk about more in depth in future videos, um, you know, please consider subscribing. Um, and uh, I wish you all the best in your uh, running adventures and I look forward to seeing you in future videos. Take care.